With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, a projectile is thrown into space so as to have maximum possible horizontal range equals to 400 meter. Taking the point of projection as the origin and the coordinate of the point where the velocity of the particle is minimum r. So we know that in projectile motion, the particle have minimum velocity at maximum height, right? Because the horizontal velocity will always be same throughout the motion and the vertical velocity will change while going up and increases when it comes down. So let's say this is, and since it is said that uh, maximum horizontal range, right? So it will be, theta will be 45. So it will be go it will it goes like this and here it will have minimum velocity that is u cos 45 since the vertical velocity is zero here so the velocity overall is minimum so here the coordinate if i talk about then it is y coordinate is maximum height and x coordinate is range by two Now if you see here, if I say the point of projection as the origin, then we can write down the coordinate. So x coordinate is simply r by 2. r is given it is 400. So it is 400 by 2 and it is 200. Now let's find out the maximum height. So if I talk about the range, we know that the range is equals to u square. 2 sin theta cos theta by g right. and uh, the maximum height is equals to u square sin square theta by 2g. So if you divide them h by r it will be uh, u square by g u square sin theta by g will get cancelled out right so i will write uh, sin theta by 2 it will be with uh, like uh, this will left from h and uh, here also u square sin theta by g will get cancelled out and 2 cos theta will be here so basically tan theta by 4 so you can remember this also this maximum height by range is equals to tan theta by 4. Here the theta itself is 45, right? So put the value of 45, like theta is 45. So tan 45 is 1. So it will be r by 4. Since tan 45 is 1. So r is 400. So r by 4 is 100. And this is the y coordinate and this is the x coordinate. So 200 comma 100 that is D option. So D is the correct one. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.